Oh no! Spinosaur caught the COVID! Ah, well, we're, you know what? We're gonna have to fix them full of antibodies. There you go. Beautiful. So, hello and welcome back to this out of sequence Jurassic World game video. <gasps> what debauchery is this? Beaver, I trusted you and here you go. Wrecking me trust. I'll never trust anybody again. I hear you cry. Well, that's not my fault. Come on, you can't blame that on me. What are you talking about? That's not fair. So, today, the reason being, uh, you've probably seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, you know my whole backstory, you know where I was born, who I am as a person. Uh, no, but today, we're playing uh, the tournament because I saw some comments saying if I would do a full tournament video. And today is a video day. Um, and I've oh, got another case. Oh, well, here we go. Ankylosaur's got it now. Uh, might as well get these because we only need a couple more. Um, and then we'll unlock like the, the flying hybrid, the flying super hybrid. And I had somebody else comment saying that apparently that guy is like the one of the best flies in the game, including above Pterodactylus. So that's... So it must be like the second or third best in the game. So heck yeah, we're going to get that. Because we need to unlock it. And then once we've unlocked it, it goes on its half price. So instead of costing 2000 I think, it costs 1000 Just the initial, which is a bit of investment. But it takes time and we get there eventually, don't we, dear? So the, I still haven't got to the point where we're doing the video yet. Because I'm doing amazing. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, no, you buggy! <laughs> I failed twice there. I don't know how that happened. I clicked once. It went two fails. Damn, I was expecting that end on a high there. Oh, well, here we are. So, we are in here because they're in Dominus Rex Gen 2, if you remember, um, is in this game. However, you can only get it if you feel like you're also alive. Oh, just give me the DNA. I don't care. I don't want to hatch anything. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, yes, yeah, so Indominus Rex Gen 2 has existed in the game for a while, um, but... You needed to max out an, a Velociraptor Gen 2 and a T-Rex Gen 2. The only problem with that is that Gen 2s could only be gotten in events. Now, Ludio have fixed that so that now you can get them anywhere. You can just buy them now. I think that some events came up and if you did those events, you unlocked it. Whereas before, you wouldn't unlock said dinosaurs. Um... Now, uh, so you, if anybody had an Indominus Rex Gen 2, it's like they hacked the game, basically. And Ludia are doing this crackdown, I, or at least I, they're supposed to be doing a crackdown. I don't know if they are. Um, but they're saying if you do hack the game, like you use some sort of app or, you know, whatever, um, you'll get banned. And this is, what, five years overdue? <laughs> like, literally five years this game came out? Like, oh my god. Um, but they're finally cracking down, I think, or supposedly they are. They still, I mean, as far as I'm aware, the, the YouTubers and stuff that have hacked the game for years have not been banned. They're still playing the game. And I doubt that Ludia will fix that, which is a bit hypocritical. I think they should start with those example cases. I've been a loyal promoter. <laughs> I've spent real money on the game. <laughs> So do it. <laughs> but um, th th those guys are still making content. And I, I, so far I haven't seen any cases of anyone being banned from it. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but the main thing we are here is for Shake the Earth. Now, I, I did think this was a tournament. And it is. Oh, look at it. Ooh, it looks good. So finally we can get Indominus Rex, uh, Indominus Rex Gen 2. I'm assuming if you maxed up... Uh, Velociraptor Gen 2 and T-Rex Gen 2, you could make a Indom Ind <laughs> Indominus Rex Gen 2. Um, anyway, any rude. Now, I did do a bunch, a bunch of events um, yesterday. So I have a lot of creatures used up, but we might not need them too much. Now, this event has just been live as of we're recording less than half an hour. So we should be able to get to the highest rank the highest probability of winning the pack. Um, oh god, look at this. <laughs> it's a Shogosaurus. A dinosaur that's supposed to be killed like straight off the bat. It can't be killed. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, yawning. Blech. Did I make you yawn? Ha! I win. I win. <laughs> oh, just, just kill it. Jesus. I want it dead. Dead as a dodo. Is it too soon still? Poor dodos. Poor dodos. 
That's horrible what happened to those guys. Where where were they where were they originally from, Dodos? They must have been from like New Zealand or Madagascar or something, right? They must have been an isolated spot. Dodo Island, somebody's gonna comment. Beaver, you don't know the Dodos are from the Dodo Island. Yeah, I might as well just go for two hits and go all out. I think he used it all, but yeah, we're not dying. I mean, worst case scenario, is Triceratops. Level two with a 50% bonus will probably have, what, 33 attack? Hold on, let's have a check, because de they definitely will switch. I'm going to say 33 attack. Maybe 34. Oh, 20. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, it's pathetic. Oh, no, that's right, because I was looking to Jongasaurus, wasn't I? Still kill it in that. I mean, I might as well block. Now, hopefully once we win this battle, we'll skip past Hatchling League, we'll skip past Prey League, and we'll be straight into uh, Survivor, I think. Still love the sound effect that's from the Lost World for the PlayStation 1 game. Oh my god, he went for seven! Wow, his eyes are close together, aren't they? Sign of the devil! <laughs> oh. I wonder if, if that's an actual saying or if that's just something my mum said. Um, my mum says these amazing, like, English terms, like flippity gibbet, and she, she, <laughs> it only ever occurred to me that these are weird when um, I, I started dating Whitney and I brought her to meet my parents, and of course Whitney's kind of American. Oh, they, yeah, we're strained to survive it. And she was like, what? <laughs> I was just so used to it. I was like, wait a minute, yeah. Flippity gibbet, this makes no sense, does it? Uh, who's me, what's it? Uh, oh! There you go, the VIP bag. That's beautiful. Yes. No, I love the sayings. I don't want them to go anywhere. I just, I just think it's funny. Oh, uh, here we go. So we're already into Survivor League. Top 25% of players. Look at that. Like, this is the thing, right? You have Jurassic World, the game. Um, should we? Yeah, let's do it. We well, may, may as well, but we'll put in... I think at this point, we could probably put in the same team and it would be close and we get a lot of cups however uh i don't want that to be the case oh look at that that's so oh it's so good level 10. oh and i had somebody as well post on twitter or something about pritrodon saying you were gonna level us all up wouldn't you beavers remember you were gonna max me up i'm not maxing up a, another hybrid carnival are you kidding me i'm not wasting that dna shut up <laughs> oh i still can't be killing one hit oh dear Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. But I've got to admit, I, I mean, I've been playing this game for years. And I've been playing Jurassic World Alive uh, for a lot shorter period of time. But I, I don't know whether it's to do with the quarantine uh, and how Ludia have obviously been handling updates and stuff. Obviously, it's going to be slower. Um, but I feel like Jurassic World Alive is just like... And I, pro I probably should say this in a Jurassic World Alive video, shouldn't I? <laughs> Not a Jurassic World the game video. And I, I, I probably will uh, echo what I'm going to say now, but the battles are not fun at all. The only battles that are fun are tournaments, when everything's even, when everything's level 26 and there's no boosts. That's where it's fun. Now, where... Oh, God, really... Th Come on, man! I just kill me already! Good lord! Um, now, where it's fun is darting dinosaurs, going out, exploring, taking incubators. Basically, everything that is like a Pokemon Go element to it is fun. Um, what? And the thing is, the battles were fun at one point, but then they introduced boosts, and I think the idea of boosts is good. I think. You know, having this currency that you save up and you add to dinosaurs and you can mix and match and, you know, boost, make things stronger, make things... Like, it's like this game where you had, you know, max level 40 and then uh, all of a sudden Ludia put in dinosaurs that were above level 40 that you faced. And it was like, whoa, that's so cool. I wonder if we'll be able to do that. No, we couldn't do that. And we still can't boost our dinosaurs past level 40. I think if Ludia are looking for something to add to this game, Jurassic World the game, maybe boosting creatures past level 40 would be good. For a start, we're not facing off against real people. So with Jurassic World Alive, when you face up against a maxed boost Thordor speed on attack or whatever, that's it, it immediately you're like, oh for God's sake. Oh, that's annoying. Whereas if I like if I face up against a level 1000 T-Rex in this game, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Like I've got the creatures to take it on. 
Um, oh my god, they're really taking ages. Oh, because you better not kill me. But then I realized it only had 55 attack. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that bit of the mural there. They've made that bit up. Because in the movie, you don't see it. Whoosh. You see that with the brachiosaur there on the back on the left. Woo. Yes. Pride Road on you win. That should take us to the top of... Uh, oh, look, we've got one extra trophy. Oh, and it does. We're number eight. <laughs> number eight. Here we go. What are we going to win? What are we going to win? So, yeah. Um, oh, 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 oh. I thought we were going to win a pack there. I think we got lucky with the other pack. So, we're at the top. We, we can do the same again. I mean, we, I mean just another Pride Road on. We're good. We're good. Chances are that we're going to be against an... I mean, he probably turned on easily, easily won that. Easily. Leopard squeezy. Oh, God, I got a burp. Oh, no. Guys, close your ears. Uh. <laughs> right. Ooh. Yes, finally. Kill my Tajongosaurus in one hit. Good Lord. Yes, do it. Um, and I, I, like, I know that... Like, obviously, Ludia don't want people to hate their games. And with Jurassic World Alive, they, they they put in boosts. And I think the intention was good. But as, you know, Alan Grant once eloquently put it, uh, some of the worst things imaginable have been done with best with good intentions or the best intentions. And, like, everybody could kind of get boosts at a same kind of rate. Excuse me, I'm pooping. <laughs> um, and that was fine. But then they slowly started putting viable boosts in the game more often. To the point where it became every day. I mean, obviously that was the plan. Like, they want to make money from this game. And the Ludia higher-ups were like, Look, long-term goal is people can buy boosts every day. So, if somebody wants to just, you know, spend thousands on our game and give us loads of money, they can. And unfortunately, that's what this is. This is a business and they want money. I, I, I don't think that like necessarily it should be that way. Like imagine if there was a multiplayer game, because that's what Just the World Alive is. You face a PvP game, you face up against real people. Like imagine, I don't know, uh, a Call of Duty or a Halo or, you know, some sort of, I'm trying to think like, I don't know, Fortnite, where if you, if you put loads of money into the game, you get better weapons. So therefore, people you come up, come up against instantly die. Imagine the uproar in that. That's what's happening in Jurassic World Alive. And it's, it's, it's so frustrating. And the fact is, in order for, like, even if, if you don't agree with this, so you're like, okay, I don't want to do the battles. Well, tough. Tartars, because you have to do the battles. You have to get incubators, or else you're only going to get DNA from darting, and then you're not going to help towards the alliance missions. You're all, you're not some of the daily missions. You're not going to get, so you're not going to get your 100. Um, what do you call it? Your 100 epic DNA. So it's intrinsically linked in the game for you to do PV battles, for you to be annoyed against people who you're going to come up against who have got loads of boosts, and for you to want to spend your real money or books, it's basically in-game currency, on buying boosts to be better. And it's, oh, it's just not good. Not good at all. And last week, I said in the video that I wasn't going to... Sorry, I don't mean to go off and rant like this. I do apologize. For people who are, like, playing Jurassic World, the, Jurassic World the game and like, Why are you talking about the other one? Play this one. This game's good. And it always has been good. Like, though, I'm trying to think the only times that this game's been bad is when they've taken, like, mistakes out of it. But the mistakes made it better. But anyway, um, it wasn't necessary that they put something that was, you know, money-hungry, kind of, as bad as it is in Jurassic World Alive. Uh, I've got nothing really bad to say against Jurassic World the game. They they are constantly supporting it. They are putting in new things all the time, like uh, new creatures, new hybrids. This VIP, they made VIP better. They made it way better. Um, they added, you know, if you want, I, I no longer have it, but you can get your, uh, just your daily book rewards. So there's a lot of stuff in this game that done right. But Jurassic World Alive, at the moment, it's on like a, a downward slope, I feel. Um, and they really need to fix it. Oh, look at all that. Oh, I'm going to collect it all the end. It's so satisfying to collect it all the end. Let's keep going. We're in Hunter League. Top. What am I? 10% of players already. Wow, look at look at Ludia. Oh, it's like, Beaver, you're the best. You're top 10%. <laughs> yeah. And how, I can't say no to a, game, to a game that strokes my own ego. 
<laughs> yeah, let's keep going. I think Pride Trodon can do this. I'm. It's it's gonna be tougher. It's gonna be tougher. But uh, yeah, it's doable. It's doable. I can't just stake his dead and won it. Yes, and we're gonna get loads of points for this. Loads of cups because, I mean, if you compare the average of our teams, I'm terrible. I mean, they even got a legendary hybrid level two, as well as a super rare hybrid and just a regular legendary. I'd say his team averaging out is way better than me. Technically, it's not. <laughs> but that's the great thing with averages and the algorithm that this game uses. Um, just like YouTube, some people have got to play the system, as one person put it so eloquently. <laughs> and you've got to do use it to your advantage if it's in a game or in YouTube itself. Um, and when the, when the system is how you make a living, sometimes you've got to do it. <laughs> but it's even better when you, you know, you enjoy what you do. Um, uh, there's going to be so many people not, not knowing what I'm referencing here, but one or two people might. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, Spinoraptor, yeah. I mean, we won this. This is, I don't, and this is what I like about it. Sometimes I just turn my brain off and be like, I won. I'm great. <laughs> yeah. um, and I also just want to say uh, a thank you to everyone who has, because the channel is doing really well at the moment. Uh, obviously, it's me. I'm doing great. <laughs> um, and I, well, I hope you know I'm joking there. <laughs> I, I, I think the channel does well when I'm enjoying what I'm making and I put time and effort into it. And I, just genuinely, if I'm enjoying it, you guys are enjoying it. That's been the 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 foundation of this channel is if, if I enjoy it, then you guys, I think, will also enjoy it. 3301! We're going to be in gold, right? Oh, we are. 93, top 5%. Whoa! Indominus! I was just gonna say, have I, am I recording? Yes, I am. Good, good God. <laughs> I was like, no, don't do it, James. Don't do it. Uh, you know, 150 yeah, I'll take it. I'd rather have the Indominus Rex pack. That would be amazing. But, you know, that's fine too. That's fine. I'll take it. I think we can... We'll probably have to get a little bit tougher creatures here. Um, you know what? Shall we try? We got 33 cups. That, to me... Feel, like, that's one and a half battles at things that are OP. Oh, God, that's... Whoo, that is tough. Look at that. I've never seen a full team of tournament hybrids. Uh, no, sorry. Tournament legendary herbivores. That's amazing. That's a that, that's a pretty team. They're all the same color. They're all the same type. Oh, that looks nice. They're all glossy. I like it. They're all going to be killed in two hits. I think every, all of them are. Oh, do you remember when they had the WWF pack and that was a charity thing? That was nice. Because um, I think, lo the, well, there was probably loads of people did it, but there was two companies in particular that donated to that charity. And uh, it was Ludia um, and it was FGOL. I think uh, Hungry Shark did a charity thing as well. Um, I think they were different. I don't think uh, Ludia's Dress World the Games was for WWF and Hungry Shark was for Oceana. Um, however, I think it was such a pain in the ass to like determine or to get the money to the charities that they haven't done it since, uh, <laughs> which is such a shame. But it was great. I was like, well, I'm helping out a charity and I get like an exclusive dinosaur. This is amazing. Eventually down the line, the dinosaur got released anyway, but still I had it exclusive for a while. And I'm, I, you know what? I'm fine with that. I, I would have preferred if Ludia had said, look, you're going to get this dinosaur exclusive for like a year and then it'll be released. I'm happy with that. But it, it's a bit like in Jurassic Park Builder where they released PAX. Um, because remember, PAX weren't a thing in Jurassic Park Builder before. R.I.P. R.I.P. J.P. B.B.B. Because <laughs> um, that game uh, didn't have pa uh, PAX in and then this one did. Um... And it's, it's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing what packs can do to a, a, a kid's psyche. It's like, oh, ooh, I get to open something. Ooh, even if it's you know what's in it. It's like, ooh, we get to open the mystery, mystery of it. That's why we have packs and everything. That's why I have mystery chests, loot boxes and all this. It's like, oh, Christmas. And I realized this as well. Uh, sorry, I flipped off on topics all the time. I do apologize <laughs> if somebody's just tuning in for this. Like, good God. Is he always like this? Yes. Yes, he is. Um, so we'll do a little bit better. We'll go for a spine into sutures. Um, so I realized, because I've just recently, I say just before the pandemic started, I got into Warhammer. So 
Um, I got, I love it. I, I love it so much. And people have asked me to do videos on painting and stuff like that. I, I'm not there yet. I can't, I don't, I can't give tutorials on painting. I'm still learning when I'm painting. Um, uh, but I ended up buying a lot of stuff because, you know, uh, this game is expensive for a start, and if you want to play it, you're going to need a lot of models, so it's a lot of stuff you've got to buy. And you, take, you can do it cheap, but if you want to just, like, buy, you know, if you're just buying fresh models, then it's expensive. Um, but I enjoy it, and I, I realize this. Every day I wake up, or I, I did for a while, and I'd have mail. I'd have a package to open. So it got to the point where I was being conditioned. So every morning I was waking up and being excited because I was expecting like a present. Um, and when on the days that I wouldn't get mail, I remember thinking to myself, oh, <laughs> there's no present today. And I realized that's what, you know, that I was having the same effect that the card packs are. It's that like, oh, what am I gonna get? But I was doing it to myself in real life. I was like, oh, today I might get a present. Uh, it's weird. Psychology, it's fascinating, fascinating subject. Oh, we went for one. Okay, so you guys who, I mean, if you watch my videos for a while, you know what I'm doing. I I'm saving my creatures. I'm uh, I'm putting in commons because I get, like, because so, some people might be looking at my team going, why are you putting Tijongasauruses in when you can put way better dinosaurs in and beat them? Okay, two points for a start. If you put in low creatures and you defeat a high level team, you get more cups. So less battles, faster time. And two, um, Tijongasaurus and, well, just the, the low, if you put lower level creatures in, you could fodder them off and have a really good creature in second to just sweep. Um, and if you have two weak level creatures, like I've just done now, you can basically fodder one in and lure the bot into going for an all-out attack, kind of. Um, and making sure that you can, you know, you've got, an, you can at least kill two creatures relatively easy. The first one, the first Tijongasaurus dies and then you get two attacks to kill whatever it is. And then if, you know, you're in a hard situation, you can swap in the other Tijongasaurus in, just go for loads of reserves and uh, have your, you know, your sweeper, your, your main, your VIP creature come in and kill them. Uh, at least then you can guarantee two kills relatively easily. So this is the best tactic for the game at the moment, or at least a tournament. Um, I found, anyway, uh, and I'm pretty sure, I wonder, do you guys do the same? Because I, I mean, you, I, especially when we've got loads of events to do, uh, it just makes more sense because you use your best creatures, they take ages to come back. Oh, look at that, that's, that's four entries done. Fantastic. I've got half my money back. Uh, so you, you put in, I mean, the reason why you have it at first is because as long as it's got low enough health that they can kill it in one hit, you just go for a reserve. So you'll ha actually have three attacks with whatever you put in for your attacker. So now we're really close to the top 1% of people, apparently. It doesn't make much sense, does it? Because every league has 100 spots. So how could you be in the top 1% when the top league is basically, has got 100 spots and the bottom league has 100 spots? How does that make sense? <laughs> you think about it that way, it doesn't make sense when they're like top 1%. Huh. I mean, if you're in the top, you could technically say you're in the top like 10% or 20% or whatever it rounds to. But you cannot say you're in the top 1%. Okay, so we were up to level 10 Spinatus Sutures, wasn't it? Or was it level 20? Where is Spinatus Sutures? He's not. Oh, he is here. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, whew. Should we go for Concavenator? He has a little bit more health and a hundred extra attack. I, you, let's do that. Let's do that. We weren't in trouble, I felt, in that last battle. So at this point, ooh, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. There's two herbivores, but it's going to be close, man. It's going to be close. Now, good team lineup here. He's got two herbivores and then a carnivore. So what's going to happen is his Ankylodocus is going to kill my Tijongasaurus in two hits. That's fine. My Concavenator now can kill his Ankylodocus in two hits. Then, he it's his turn, he'll have two, two, well, two things to use. He'll use one of them to switch out into Pritrodon, and then Pritrodon can only do 900 damage. And if that's the case, if he goes for an attack, I will have four, and I can kill his Pritrodon, and then it's only down to his Antarctica Pelter. 
who already who only has 300 attack. So, yeah. Cargavenator with his weird sheep eyes. I wonder who decided to give him that. So, here we go. Now, does he go for an attack? He does. Okay. So, this is where it gets interesting. So, Antarctica Pelter can kill me in three hits. So, we want to... We kill him in two hits. Uh, we want to go for one block. Um, so, we're only going to hit with two. And we don't even... I mean, if we really wanted to... We could switch into Tijangosaurus, go for four reserves, one block. Hopefully Tijangosaurus dies. Either way, we've won, no matter what. If you want to play it more, more safely, you could put Tijangosaurus in. But there you go. There you go. That was it. He went all out attack. If I hadn't blocked, he would have killed me there. And that's how you can still use common dinosaurs to get to the top 1%. Technically, I mean of a tournament you know i mean you are kind of they are useful they they are just as important as your you know your big hitter and there you go using tajongasauruses in every battle we got the dominate league if you watched you know complete talk oh i want it i want it but i'm not gonna get it. but this has the highest percentage chance of getting you know the prizes are better we've got a high percentage chance of getting the pack um i don't know they should say what the percentage chances are that would be amazing uh, cause look, if I, hold on. So what do we win in this pack anyway? So we get a guaranteed Indominus Rex Gen 2. We get food, 500 bucks and 2,500. I, I like that. If it gives me guaranteed bucks instead of like, you know, I, I could get three pulls of car, sorry, uh, coins, which would be a complete waste. Um, so there we go. Now we can, oh, we can claim our prize. Look at it. Oh, wait, what? Prey League, Hunter League, Dominator League. Is that it? And then we got to finish in the Dominator League. Huh. Okay, so it's 20, 40, 50, 55 DNA for Monolophosaurus and um, Velociraptor. Woo! Woo! Getting close to another Rinderum. So we, we have enough for another Mono Stegatops, and we just made it level 40. That's crazy. So we also have Leeds Ichthys. Yes, yesterday Leeds Ichthys was out, and you can, you can unlock it, meaning that now... You can get the aquatic hybrid. Now, I'm not going to do that just yet because, for one, it's like, what, a thousand bucks each. And I've got to do seven of them. So it's 7,000 bucks. Um, and that's, you know, factoring in, uh, you know, the, the books to speed up and, of course, the DNA to buy them. Uh, it's, well, the DNA is going to be, you know, you're gonna, you've got to spend the DNA, but the books, not so much. Um, so, let's do, uh, should we do Fight for Fusion? Oh god, look at that! Oh, that's ridiculous! I mean, win a micro SDNA pack, right? So you get a lot of stuff. Um, but it's three battles of this. It's ridiculous. Uh, claim your territory, what's that like? Oh my god! And this is why you need to use Tijongasaurus in your battles. Okay, so this is the first time we got in Dominator League. We may as well. Let's keep the tradition. Let's keep Tijongasaurus in there. And uh, now, if we were to use something like... Oh, excuse me. Spandis Suchus or Concavenator, we're probably going to die. We need something high tier. I'm talking like your best creatures. I mean, sometimes you can face something that's relatively easy. Sometimes it's quite tough. So, something like an Indoraptor level 10 with 2,600 attack. I mean, we're talking like... End game stuff here, even at level 10. Indoraptor, if you can... oh man, I can you get like an uh, Indoraptor at level 20? Can you imagine having a level 20 T Rex and then a level 10 Indoraptor? That would be insane. But I suppose you need to have Indominus Rex, don't you? Oh, an Indogen 2! Ooh, okay, okay. So already we can kill that con uh, sorry, Carnoraptor in one hit with our Indoraptor, I think. We've definitely got like 2,000, 2,000 and no, it'd please be 2,300. I think it's 2,600 even. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so he's dead. And then we got Zalmonodon, which I don't think can do 2,000 attack um, in, one, in one hit. So we're going to go for one and then two reserves. Oh, I can't wait to see Indogen 2. I think I've seen it before, but ah, it's going to look awesome. Oh, God, it does a lot of attack, though. And this is a recent hybrid as well. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, come on. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Go for two. A day, a day. If that's the case, we could probably go for two hits and then loads of reserves. Uh, sorry, loads of blocks. Oh, okay, so if I lose Indoraptor, I'm done. Tishongosaurus can't do anything. 
So this is where we use our second common. It doesn't matter what it is. I use Tijangasaurus because it's the weakest and it's the first thing to click on when I click lowest to highest. Um, so here we go. He's definitely going to go for five because five, or like with four block and five attack, he can do one hit and kill me. So he's probably going to do five. Fingers crossed. He does. Okay. And that's the way you can bait the, the bot or PC or the algorithm, whatever you want to call it, the evil buggy, into using all of its attacks, or at least the most, on a weak creature. Um, so now we can go for two hits. Um, we could probably kill Indo... I mean, we can double check. It's only got 1,000 attacks. So in comparison to everything else, he's really weak. Um, and we can kill him one hit. So if you wanted to go for the lols, you could go for four block. Meaning that Indo, Indo, sorry, Indominus Rex Gen 2 can literally do nothing. Oh, out of the shadows! Beautiful! Yay! Right, so he can do nothing to us. Even if it went for four attack, it couldn't kill me. Oh, he looks so cool though! Oh man, that looks awesome. I want it, I want it. Okay, well, you know what? Let's kill it. Wouldn't it be funny if Indo Indominus Rex Gen 2 was in the new Jurassic World movie? <laughs> they just never got away from hybrids, no matter what. Oh, dear. I feel like Indoraptor had to be the last hybrid, but I, I don't know. I don't know. We might see a return. Um, so, when it comes to the tournament, a pro tip, beaver, b -b 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 pro tip. Uh, beaver, oh, look at all those packs. Oh, you know what? Another... Oh, 10%. Now, if that had happened, happened during a live battle, I would have lost it. I would, have, I would have been kicked out, so that was lucky, actually, that happened there. A thir 30 bucks! I think we've been reimbursed for everything, and we've just got more resources. Yeah! Oh, that's awesome! So we'll do one more, hopefully we won't hit the 5% and be kicked out. 5% battery warning! I can't remember what I was saying, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Interruptor was the last one. Like, it had to be, right? Interruptor had to be the last hybrid. But, I don't know. I, I feel like we're probably gonna see another one. Um... It would be funny if they just couldn't get away from it no matter what. I'd love to see the chaos effect in it or something ridiculous, but at the same time, I would hate to see it. It'd be like, that's cool, but completely fan service. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Yes, there it is. There it is. So, this is interesting because we can't kill it in one hit. Even nerfed, uh, or sorry, unnerfed without that affecting us, we probably couldn't kill it in one hit. So... Let's have a look. He can't, Glyphornax can't kill me in two hits, and that's all he's going to have. So, we can go for one reserve and be safe. We definitely survived. Now, Metricanthosaurus, the other one, um, has loads of attack, but no health. So, we can basically kill it in one hit, guaranteed. And look at this guy. This hybrid has lovely, like, livable eyes. And I don't know why Concave in it has these, like, lifeless, soulless eyes of a sheep. Or a goat. But this guy, he's got, like, the white little speckle there. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so we are going to switch out because Metricanthosaurus, even though it's kind of weak in comparison to Glyphornix. And there you go. We baited it. What, as long as he's got more t more attacks to use than we have reserves or blocks, uh, he's going to go for it. He's going to go for four. Um, but, of course, taking its time, pretending like it's a real person. Uh, I love that Ludia have programmed in their bots to never be VIP. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you face, no matter who you face, they haven't bought VIP. You're the silly one. <laughs> You're the idiot who's throwing money at this game. So he went for an all out. We can go for two hits. We can go for the lols and go for four block, one reserve, because one hit can kill it. So no matter what it does, we're taking no damage and it's a guaranteed kill. So there you go. Playing it like a pro. That's why you come here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do with this game, just with the game. It, the, 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 the videos always do well, and I've, I, I thank you so much from the bottom of my, my scaly heart. <laughs> oh god, that's weird though. No. Uh, I'm not a scaly! <laughs> from my dinosaur loving heart. Um, to have that security, um, to go, okay, I'm gonna make this video, and I know it's, you know, people are gonna love it, and, um, I mean... I don't know. I, I like It's good to have security. It's good to know that I can play a game, have fun playing the game, and know that, you know, the support's there. Because um, I know a lot of people on YouTube don't have that, and it must be horrible to be like, oh my god, what can I play today? Uh, it's me, you know, maybe there's games that they play. Ooh, it's Super Slayers. That looks awesome. I love the Oh, that pack looks great. Uh, but to, like, oh god, what am I going to do? What am I going to play? What am I going to know that people are going to like? Ah. Oh, um, 
I mean, that eats people up. It's like, you know, you get imposter syndrome coming. It's like, are they there for you? Are they there for the game? Like, God. Um, but I'm lucky that whatever I seem to play, you guys love, so. <laughs> and I'll keep on doing it. And I've been doing it for yay. Yes, I've been doing it. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to wrap this video. We're not going to get a top one because otherwise, I don't even know if we have that battery to do. We need to double our points. 429 to get to the top. And we are at the moment on 279. So, yeah, it's like 200 and odd. It's not... If we got 30 cups each, um, 3, 6, 9, uh, it's still like 7 or 8 battles. Um, we don't need to. Um, I, I will this. It's only a, it's a three day tournament, so it's quite short. So every day, I'm going to need to be on this game and continuously playing it. Because if I leave it to. Because you're probably going to need about 1,000, 1,400 cups, I would say. I think it's 1,000. It's, one, it's definitely over 1,000 cups in order to stay and dominate a league. So definitely do that. Play it every day. Um,. Even spend books. As long as as long as long you're... I mean, you're probably going to get the books on the return for the spin wheel. You might get the books. You might even get... You might even win the pack and get 500 books guaranteed. And then if you stay in that league, it's another 500. So think about it as you're investing. It. Those 500 books, invest that as long as you have those books. Invest it in the tournament. You'll get it back as well as unlocking Indominus Rex Gen 2, which is a really tough creature to get. Took five years for them to make another Indominus Rex, eh? <laughs> but anyway, guys... If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.